Overcrowded crashes have been blamed for problems with early childhood development. There's often a lack of learning materials, including suitable toys. Now, in addition to this, thanks to HIV AIDS, more than half the children in crashes are orphans. Well, joining us now from our Durban studio is Ian Buchan, the chairman of the Unlimited Group. The KZN-based financial services company has taken on these problems with a remarkable corporative, co corporate social initiative. Ian, good morning and welcome to Morning News Today. What is morning, the Unlimited McFarlane. Child Program? Um, McFarlane, a, a couple of years ago, I had with our housekeeper, her granddaughter just was not passing at school. So we asked to see uh, some information about her background and discovered that they kept passing her, but she wasn't progressing, in fact, uh, at all. She was failing. So we got very, very intensive uh, input for her uh, over a period of a year with, with very poor results. One would have expected one-on-one -on -one, uh, work with her to have been successful. It wasn't. It was a dismal failure. So I started to investigate very strongly what was going on. I mean, here was this little girl who should have been going forward in leaps and bounds. Anyway, long story short, we then discovered that uh, the problem occurs with children between the ages of about 18 months and 6, 7 years. If they don't get stimulated with educational toys uh, and get their motor skills sorted out, then effectively that child, very, very sadly, uh, has stunted their development basically forever. So when you take a child of 6 or 7, no matter what you do to that child, no matter how intensively you work with them, if they haven't had early childhood development, they will never reach their full potential. Now, Ian, that is one case, and this is where the project started. How many children are now going to benefit or are benefiting already from this project? Okay, we test marketed with five creches to see whether that worked, and it worked stunningly well. Uh, we put educational toys in there. That was the one key thing. The second key thing was to train the teachers, and we've done that. And we now have just over 50 creches uh, up and running. Uh, and we've impacted, I think, on about something like 2,600, 2,700 children at this stage. And we will hope to roll out over the course of the next six months, I think it's another 33 or 34 creches. Mm -hmm. how, are you, how are you able to monitor its success here? And, um, what sort of programs have been put into place to ensure that, um, yes, one, when you do give them these toys, there's, there's some sort of mentorship program that you can go through and look and see, okay, this is where we're going right, this is where we're going wrong, this is what these children need, and then eventually lead them to a process where they're able to go into school and are able to cope as well as other children are? Uh, well, that, that's an interesting question. We've got some experts out of Pretoria who've been helping us, and we have a, a gentleman called Ian Corbishley, who's the ex-inspector uh, of schools for KZN, and he's driving that process for us. We've got an NGO in Stellenbosch who is now starting to do research for us, and we've, we're implementing a program that will run for about 15 years to monitor exactly how well our children are doing against a placebo. And so far, the results are absolutely outstanding. I mean, we're very, very excited about it. It's definitely working. Mm -hmm. well, Ian, CSI is part of businesses. It's, it's, it's what a lot of businesses are even encouraged to be doing so that they give back to the communities that they surround them or the, the communities that they're involved in. But now, how do you measure its success in, in, in terms of what it does for you as a business? Well, well you know, uh, one of our, our, part of our vision, we've got five kind of what we call wins. And one of those wins is that we want to shift the community. But you know, we do not take a, a commercial view about that. It, we, our feeling is that it should, if you do the right thing, that's all that matters. So for us, it's, we feel that we'll get our, our reward at some point down the line uh, on this program. The key, though, is that it's, it's not a commercial initiative as far as we're concerned. Uh, we don't uh, advertise it. We don't put it into anything of that nature. We just get in and get the work done. And we're hoping that if it works here in KZN, in the Valley of a Thousand Hills, which is a really, really tough part of South Africa for, for orphans and stuff like that, which you talked about earlier, then we can roll it out throughout the country. And if we do the right thing, then that's, we're happy about that. Well, thank you very much. That was Ian Bakken, the chairman of the Unlimited Group.